hello everyone welcome back to our channel in today's video we will learn how to install docker desktop on ubuntu 24.04 lts system docker desktop is a fantastic tool for developers and it professionals it enables you to build share and run containerized applications seamlessly it provides a graphical user interface to manage your container images and the volumes before jumping into the installation steps Make sure you have following things in place. We need a pre-installed Ubuntu 24.04 instance, a local user with sudo privileges, 64-bit CPU architecture, and 4 GB of RAM. Virtualization technology VT must be enabled from the BIOS. If you are planning to install it on a VM, make sure the virtualization is enabled for that VM from the software side as well. We need a desktop environment like Xenome and then stable internet connection. Without any further delay, let's jump into the installation step. Docker installation steps are there on the Docker official website. In Google, search install Docker desktop Ubuntu. Click and click on this first link. It will take you to the official Docker website. And here the steps, prerequisites, image, everything is mentioned here. What exactly needs to be run and executed in order to set up the docker desktop on your ubuntu but these steps are in scattered form so for the interest of time i have already prepared a set of steps that i will refer in this demo i will paste these steps in the description of the video for your reference First step is to allow unprivileged namespaces so that the docker desktop service starts properly for that we need to set this kernel parameter using sysctl command so copy the complete command terminal paste this command and hit enter next step is to install all the available updates so for that we will be using apt update and apt upgrade command once all the updates are installed on your system then check whether the kvm virtualization is enabled on your on your system or not docker desktop needs virtualization because it runs a virtual machine so whenever we are enabling the virtualization technology that is vt from the BIOS setting that its module is automatically loaded into the kernel and we can verify it using the command ls mode and then grab kvm okay the output confirms that kvm underscore intel module is already loaded into the kernel in case this module is not loaded into your on, on your system for that you need to load it manually using the mode probe command if you are using an intel based architecture then run this command sudo space mode probe kvm underscore intel if you are using amd architecture then run this command sudo space mode probe space kvm underscore amd once the module is loaded allow your local user so that it can access the kvm devices but for that that user has to be the part of kvm group so run this command sudo space user mode space hyphen a caps z followed by the group name here in this case kvm and followed by the username copy this command paste and type new grp kvm to confirm type id command this user is belongs to this kvm group as well next install docker using its official app repository so first we need to add its repository using the echo command but before that we need to add repositories gpg key using these set of commands Copy this first command, paste it here. Mm. 
नेक्स्ट now run this echo command this command will add a docker dot list file under the folder etc app sources dot list now install docker using apt command and so do apt update first it will update the repositories index next run this command copy the complete command so this command will install community docker addition along with all the dependencies once the docker is installed verify its service using the command the output confirms that docker service is up and running next add your local user to this docker group so that local user can run all the docker commands without sudo for that run sudo user mode let's see docker group name and your username hit enter and type new grp in order to activate this docker group to this user in order to verify it run id command so this id belongs to the docker group as well next download docker desktop and install its debian package for that head back to the docker official page on the page itself you will get this link to download the debian package for this docker desktop so click on this click on save it will download the debian package onto the downloads folder once the debian package is downloaded go to the downloads folder run sudo apt install dot slash docker desktop iphone emd dot dev hit enter type y and hit enter once the docker uh, desktop debian package is installed successfully now we can access and we can launch this docker desktop for that one approach is in the application manager search desktop click on this docker desktop icon accept the license agreement click on accept if you have an account already on docker desktop then sign in or you can also create a new account if you don't want to sign it right now click continue without signing so this is the docker desktop gui if you click on this settings tab under the setting tabs you can configure the resources resources like cpu ram and the disk and the swap space for your docker desktop so tweak these parameters as per your need if you go to the kubernetes tab here this will give you the option to enable this kubernetes so what it will do it will set up a single node kubernetes cluster in your docker desktop if you click on this and then click apply and restart so it will restart your docker desktop and then 
when it comes up it will give it will start a single node kubernetes cluster for you so as of now i am not going with this option so click as of now there is no container so let's start one container go to the images and by default when we install this docker desktop a welcome to docker image is pulled automatically if you click on this run under the action settings give the container name let's say app one host port let's say i want to give 8080 rest of the parameters you can leave as it is click on run so it will start a container and and it will show us the logs of our containers if you go back you will see one container with the name app one similarly if you go to the volumes there you will get an option to create a volume click on create a volume specify the volume name let's say i want to give the volume name as my vol click create that's it from this video tutorial now you can explore this uh, docker desktop as per your requirements if you have found this video tutorial useful and informative please do like the video and subscribe to our channel for more tech tutorials thank you bye have a nice day